it's an artwork that I'm designing, but I'm, I also have all these different performance artists like Selena over here that are a part of it. You know, so it's a big uh, community project. Yeah. So, something that you gonna tell me? Well, um, just that Selena says what? That's it. Come on, Richard.
<laughs> Look at this guy. <laughs> he turned around. He's like, I'm with this I'm with party. This party. It's Let's like go. Morona. All right. <laughs> Good afternoon. My name is Victoria Delgadillo and I'm your neighbor just around the corner near Evergreen. We have come today to thank all of you that have taken the coronavirus vaccination because you have brought Boyle Heights almost back to normal again and hopefully that makes you joyous too. It's nice to get out and see friends, right? Also, we come to celebrate El Pino because it's going to be knocked down by the city to make room for something new in the Cinco Puntos area. That makes me sad because I like old things and history. We should respect the decisions of all those who have chosen not to get the vaccine because it's perfectly fine to manage your own bodies, especially when it comes to medicine. Some think that they will be protected when, when the herd immunity takes place. That means surrounding themselves with people who are already vaccinated. It makes me recall the worldwide pandemics I've experienced in my lifetime. My first one was polio. I was vaccinated at school in 1955 and 56 when I was four and five years old. The United States has been free of polio since 1979, and so has the rest of the world, because once we are inoculated here, our government goes to other countries and gives others the vaccine too. Plans have already been made to take the COVID-19 vaccine to Africa and India, since those countries are suffering so much now and have very limited resources. I also remember the AIDS epidemic in 1981 when I lost so many friends. Even though AIDS has not been totally eradicated today, the medicines that have been developed ensure that is no longer a death sentence. No doubt our lives have changed in extreme ways in the past year and a half, but we are resilient Starting uh, this Tuesday, the city of Los Angeles will reopen. You may still have to wear your mask and distance yourself in some stores and shops, and that information will be posted at their entrance. Make sure to keep your mask handy in case you need to use it. If you are vaccinated, you do not have to wear a mask when you are walking down the street or in an uncrowded place. Now is the time for renewal and rebirth. It makes me wonder what tomorrow will bring, but at the same time, I feel that I have had the exp life experiences to confront anything that is placed in front of me. We wish you the best coming year filled with success and fulfillment in all you do as we continue going forward together and taking care of each other. Buenas tardes. Mi nombre es Victoria Delgadillo y soy su vecina a la vuelta de la esquina cerca a Evergreen. Hemos venido hoy para agradecerles a todos los que han recibido la vacuna contra el virus corona, porque han llevado a Boyle Heights casi a la normalidad nuevamente, y con suerte eso también los hace feliz. Es agradable, agradable salir y ver amigos, ¿verdad? Además, venimos a celebrar el pino porque la ciudad lo va a derribar para dar lugar a algo nuevo en la zona de cinco puntos. Eso me hace triste porque me gustan las cosas viejas y históricas. Debemos uh, respetar a la decisión de todos aquellos que han optado por no vacunarse porque está perfectamente bien manejar sus propios cuerpos, especialmente cuando se trata de medicamentos. Algunos piensan que están protegidos cuando se, produza, se produzca la inmunidad colectiva, es decir, uh, rodeados de personas que ya están vacunados. Me hizo recordar las pandemias mundiales que he visto en mi vida. Mi primero fue el polio. Me vacunaron en la escuela en 1955 y 56 cuando tenía 4 y 5 años. Estados Unidos ha estado libre de polio desde el 1979 y también el resto del mundo porque una vez que estamos vacunados aquí, nuestro gobierno va a otros países y también les da la vacuna. Ya se han hecho planes para llevar la vacuna de, del COVID-19 a África y India. 
ya que esos países están sufriendo mucho ahora y tienen recursos muy limitados. También recuerdo la epidemia de SIDA en 1981 cuando perdí a muchos amigos. Aunque SIDA no se ha erradicado totalmente en la actualidad, los medicamentos que se han desarrollado aseguran que ya no sea una sentencia de muerte. Sin duda, nuestras vidas han cambiado de manera extrema este último año y medio, pero somos resistentes. A partir de este martes, reabrirá la ciudad de Los Ángeles. Es posible que aún tenga que usar su máscara y, máscara y distanciarse en algunas tiendas y comercios. Y esa información se, publica, se publicará en las entradas comerciales. Asegúrese de tener la mascarilla en mano en caso de que eh, necesita usarla. Si está vacunado, no es necesario que use uh, una máscara cuando camina por la calle o en lugares donde hay poca gente. Ahora es el momento de la renovación y renacimiento. Me pregunta qué, traeré, qué traerá mañana, pero <coughs> al mismo tiempo siento que he tenido las experiencias de, de vida para enfrentarme a cualquier cosa que se ponga enfrente de mí. Les deseamos lo mejor para el próximo año y lleno de éxito y satisfacción en todo lo que hacen mientras seguimos adelante juntos y también cuidándonos unos al otro. Gracias. Thank you. 
tables all fucked up. I was never really good at math, ho. Big stepping on the fucking stage. Y'all can feel it in the back row. First class on the nose down. Gave a fuck about five stars. Be slow when I touch the rock. I'm an alien, I'm a monster. I'm a villain, I'm a alien. Going to the max, my psycho. I'm filling in on the medicine. We were rolling up for the night show. 45 with a 45, got the golden eye like I'm James Bond. I'm mortalized in this motor mind. The fucking feel like a time bomb. Who wouldn't do? Living life in a bottle. You talking shit, I'm looking back with a bar stool. Natural. I brush all like a phantom. I can slow down, my name be a phantom. And two hands and a tab and a half and a jack. Going out, I'm going to the max. You should have known for the but I guess I didn't give a shit. I made it for a bad relapse. Oh man, that's bad news. We spent a whole year for really had a whole lot of hope in the hotel room. Trapped in all by myself. Shoot it for the young man. So flash that way. Go close, let's sit down, be less than God. It was all just a dream. Or another universe. Nigga, who really knows? A bitch coming out clean. Say, hey, do me. Yeah, 12 bottles. Yeah, two yeah, my tolerance. That's the truth. Say, hey, do me. Hey, 12 bottles. Hey, two pills, my tolerance. And we gonna turn up one time. Listen to me. It goes like this. We go, truthy, 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 true. Try it, truthy, 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 true. You ready? Let's go. One, two, three, hey, go. Oh. Truthy, 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 true. Truthy, 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 true. Truthy, truthy, y'all. Make some noise for yourselves, y'all. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right, we all get right to the last one because this is my favorite song to do. So, and all y'all, some fabulous people too. Thanks for showing love. Make sure you stick around and show as much love to everybody else. Everybody can do their thing. Hemos venido hoy para agradecerles a todos los que han recibido la vacuna contra el virus corona.
My dreams they weren't enough, but repeating in my visions is a young man who found support like a bike stand. Been alone for a long time when he tell himself as he pops in. Another tag would have never land, never get it back like a silver hand. But the high ground against Anakin never had a chance cause he panicking going back home. Round third, bad roof couldn't call it better. Never thought I'd ever see the day, but I see it now on them highs of a forehead, don't split it open. My sharp as a meat cleaver. Devil said he never had advice, I just look back and said me neither. What I say to you, I say twice to me. Looking up at God, I just make believe I can't imagine what I'd really be if I didn't stop But now I see, fire him and he fight back Both of us got the last laugh Beat down some tough sound, but I'm smooth now, I don't need hands that St. Louis? Yeah. Okay, so St. Louis. St. Louis? Okay. It's right up there. It used to be like an old hospital, and it's, now it's like an old folk. It's the Howard Hughes Hospital, where Howard so, Hughes was all crazy. Right. So where that? The where Judy Baca painted her first mural. Oh, sure. Okay. So, so when you see that building, you can't miss the structure. It's right there. Carmel has been in a whole history tour, too. Oh, really? And you should meet us there. Okay. All right. About the equipment. Who are we going to? To where that hospital is? Is it on 4th or something? Internal hub gears right now. That's what I'm saying. Like, I do, like, it's got that's some cool it. shit. Manny, do you have red stuff? No, 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 no. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my god. Watch out with Osita! Watch out! Osita! Wow! Osita! 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 Ay, Osita, you're pulling the whole car. No, 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 Osita! Is he dragging it? Yes, just dragging it. Para allá, girl. Para allá, para allá, para allá. Don't get excited, girl. Don't get excited. Come on. 
put the piñata. Where is the stuff? It, uh, Dylan's gonna bring it on. Okay.
cama Soy la solución de todita tu gana En la cama tú y yo vamos a hacer que la tierra tiemble Tiene y seca Puta pa' mí, yo te pa' ti Tú sabes, bebé, mi coche pa' ti Tú sabes, bebé, mi coche pa' ti From an airplane? No, just no, no. get a little, a little uh, lapida somewhere, and just then we can. It'll be on the the historical. Uh, uh, what do you call it? I want to be dying next to dead people. I want to be eternity next to dead. Dude, I live across the street from the. I live across the street from the Pantheon. My grandfather's buried in that Pantheon. In the Evergreen? El Gato, yeah. El Gato. That's my grandfather's. So is Adrian's. Yeah, you got the two. His, his, uh, so his, uh, my neighbor was telling me she saw uh, Edward James Olmos. Yeah? <laughs> yeah, she goes, oh, he's doing like a ceremony, I think his mom. Check, check. It's kind of cool, the other day I heard a tamborazo. Oh, it was very cool. Check one, two. Yeah, the yeah. gato went out for some, buy some leche, yeah. allá del paso, yeah. he and, he, and he never came back. <laughs> That's what they call your grandfather, El Gato? Yeah, El Gato. <laughs> my grandfather is in Tijuana and, what, and the rest of my family is in San Diego. And then my, my mother and the, my tías, they were las gatas. Las, las gatitas <laughs> las de gato. <laughs> las, las pussy gatas. <laughs> yeah. Las pussy gatas?
He's around here somewhere. Yeah. Maybe he went to go to back for Christmas. Oh, oh, Mark Torres along. The Mark Torres look alike. Yeah, Mark Torres looking about, you know, going out and doing events. You gotta catch up with people. After a year. Yeah. 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 This is historic. They're gonna have uh, Greg from the, the Midnighters. Yeah, Greg. And then uh, from Lisa. Yes. What's happening? Hi, number one fan, Siempre. Number one fan, Siempre. Who's the Hernandez? You worked with Hernandez. Number one fan? Oh, Hernandez. This is number one fan. I don't think I'll end up. Oh, look at the bicycles. Oh, here they come. Now they come. Now they come. Oh, look at the dogs pulling the whole thing. Yeah, she'll pull it. She's strong. They're going to Hollywood. They're going to Hollywood. They're like they're going on the freeway. <laughs> uh, so that they're in our freeway? Yeah! It's a freedom weekend, right? Huh? Almost. On the 15th, on uh, Tuesday, everything opens up. Oh, right, right. So it's kind of like free freedom weekend. Oh, okay. Cha -cha 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 -cha. And then June 10th is the 19th. Cha -cha -cha -cha. And the slaves won their freedom. Yeah. I have to go and take my white friend out to yeah. the... It's his birthday. It's his, you know, it's his wife. First birthday. Lo voy a invitar a Juntin. Yeah, Juntin. I'm taping for Raul. Number one fan, don't you have a close-up? Don't you have a close-up Yeah, I know, but he looks like him, huh? Like his style. <laughs> yeah. He could be a brother. Yeah, right, Carmelo? He could be a clone. He even dresses like Mark They say we have seven people that look like us around the world. I bet like at least two of them. Okay. Mucha gente! Mucha gente! do a couple of songs and let's see what happens.
feel to, it's feedback, like a vocal feedback? Much vocal feedback. Like... Toda cambiado toda tu vida trabajando en este sitio de abandonados hablando mal de los chicanos the guitar the guitar is kind of like the guitar is crunchy yeah that's okay that's okay that's crunchy guitars well, then i can't hear I, I can't hear your beautiful voice it's, you like it crunchy yeah check 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 <laughs> all right i want to hear lisa not the crunch sing crunch please sing crunch por favor
culebra was attacking my ass. Que viva la culebra! Que viva la culebra! I'm Lisa Flores, for those that don't know, and this is Greg Esparza, and we're just gonna do a couple of Greg songs now. A ver. Oh, yeah. And that's Osita. So, Greg, do you want to tell him who you sing with? Osita Bark. Or who you sang with? Who you used to sing with? I used to sing with Cannibal and the Headhunters. No! Uh, 15 years with the Midnighters, and uh, and now I'm going to be doing some new projects, and uh, this is really fun. I'm happy to be singing with Lisa, so this is cool. Yeah, yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> Now the dogs. <laughs> the dogs want to sing. You guys better hop with this one, okay? Because I know you guys know it. All right. Come on. Let's sing along in the park. <laughs> Because I love you, I love you. 
And Princess Frank's up next, okay? Uh, we started it off this way, if you were there at 9.30 with us. And uh, here it is.
That's the hit of the summer. No, Rona, Rona. The Corona piñatas. I breeze through these songs before we run out of power. Hi, Raul's assistant. No puede hacer nada. Is it can you hear me? Ponle mucho, ponle mucho de ustedes, muchas veces. I gotta do this like two or three times a year. Right, you're like a professional. You're the professional. Professional maker, professional piñata stuffer. This is a pretty good stash. Oh, where are they gonna hang it? I don't know, but that tree like right there looks perfect. I know. The one right Before there. the people leave. Let's do this. <laughs> it was good. I got the whole concert. Yes. Love it. I made these pom poms. You did? Aren't they cute? They're great. Because otherwise you just don't eat pelona. 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 <laughs> pelona. Pelona. What's that? Oh, uh, you can smell the balloons. The balloons smell like them. Um, rubber, I guess. Those are from uh, Billy Bernard's performance. Underneath the vaccine. Oh, yeah. Good. I never worked with her before. Who is it? Oh, Lily Bernard? Yeah. Did she go to school with Raul? Uh, yeah, mm -hmm. she did. She went to. You know, she's one of the ones from the. I just had to reach you, baby. Traveling that day Instagram, Princess Frank Official.
Valencia, muchas gracias. Princess Van de Los Angeles. One Man Rock Show. Más originales. Aquí tenemos, aquí tenemos. Somebody, okay, because I parked it at his house. At his house, okay. And then I, you know, it, it, I just kind of played it all by ear. Like I got up 6:45 in the morning, and, <laughs> and then I just went over to his pad about 8:45. Defend the barrio, or else. I changed it. Yeah, I hear you. So I want candy. I want candy. Push me. You gotta turn him around. Push him. Do as I do. Turn him around. 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 Just beat it! Beat it! One more hit! Okay! Oh! El que sigue, los niños! I like a ninja! That was good! Sin máscara, sin máscara. Pégale, pégale, dale, dale. Otra, otra. Dale, otra. Más duro, más duro. Dale, duro. Dale con ganas. Dale, dale. Pégale el ojo, pégale el ojo. Sácale el ojo, sácale el ojo. Okay. Okay, I know. Yeah, too much. Can you bring it down a little bit? Okay. It was good. Andale. Sácale el ojo. Sácale el mal ojo. Dale, dale. Woo, girl power. Las muchachas pueden. Las muchachas pueden. Dale. Pégale, pégale. Duro, duro. Andale, así, así. Sácale el ojo. Más duro. Oh, ya se cansó. Ok. La que sigue. Ahora sí, ahora sí, ahora sí. Es de concreto, es de concreto. Pues, dale, dale, piedad, dale, piedad con piedad, dale con piedad, ok, más, pégale, pégale todos, dale, yo no quiero la cosa, ya, ándale, ándale. Ya está, ya 
ya está, ya está. All right. Yeah, just toss it, girl. No kidding. Ah. Oh, no. Gondor. Snickers. Snickers. I want a sneaker. No. Thank you. Maybe melted. Okay. Oh, Skittles. 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 Oh my God. Oh my God. Skittles. Skittles. La perra quiere también. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> La perra quiere también. <laughs> Osito, you don't need candy. Te vuelves loca. Thanks for turning it over, girl. Okay. <laughs> Those kids are so cute. Look at that. That they load it up like that. That is a little bag. It's like a little tiny bag. <laughs> I'm gonna sell that shit. That was good. That's not a parade because it's making a parade in LA. It's impossible with permits. So he got these bicycles, these CTOs and stuff like that, to basically drive to different locations in the urbanity all over Los Angeles. Basically connecting all the public spaces from a heart of park to Jazz Park in South Central LA. To this, to, to, uh, through down Central Avenue into Obera Street and then driving out into basically Holland Bay Park. Yeah. Um, so a lot of performance. I actually was on the bike um, platform and as it was moving, I was sitting there and breathing. I was Selena. So when, <laughs> yeah, um, when we were thinking about the project and thinking about how we were going to go about it, we came up with the six words, which was Rona, respect, resilience, um, remembrance, um, regeneration, and renaissance. So thinking about those six terms and how we were going to incorporate that in our parade and our bike ride was really important for us. So uh, there was like a lot of ceremonial aspect to it. Mm -hmm. Um, there was sage bird if you want to make a little candy in the back, so super like, you know. Um, this was at the end. And we had uh, Lily Bernard, who was a uh, black, uh, Afro Latina um, artist, and she performed um, very ceremonial um, about the god of Atala from Cuba, which is from Cuba and just talking about the hardships that they're facing because of the pandemic and the vaccines and everything that they're not getting access to because it's Cuba and then the relations between America and Cuba is, you know, very strange. So uh, that was her performance and then her son performed after that. Um, and his name is Hezi, he's a rapper, black rapper, and talking about a lot of the, a lot of the content for the project was talking about the pandemic period and how that affected our community. Mm -hmm and how our community was resilient enough to rise above, and this was kind of like our celebration. Because then a couple of days later, you know, like the regulations were lifted, and um, so we were out there promoting safe gathering of our community. Um, so now I'm gonna go into points of departure where the reason I'm here is to explain this project, but as well explaining why it's important um, to talk about community work and bringing in different artists from di different backgrounds to share their experience and their life and you know uh, seeing the differences and the similarities in between all of our lives which i think is super important and um because chicanx studies are um to me is about us and our history and their but a lot of it i think um is the art so i have something written down here where it's i said uh Artists are the gateway to the community. So if we can create that gateway for artists and academia to work together to create a newer type of like curriculum or um, just a, you know reimagining it to fit within what's actually happening right now and you know continuing to to grow with our culture.
culture and who we are. And, uh, yeah, I just also want to say that uh, there's, you know, there's a lot of questions that I have because I'm from San Jose, and um, I think like Christian said, he's his family, like they wouldn't want to classify themselves as Chicano, but we're Chicano, like through and through we're Chicano. And um, but growing up, he said, you know, there's a stigma with the Chicano. My dad and my mom, uh, my dad, he took Chicano studies in college, and so I grew up on that idea that Chicano means that he, right? It's like we're not this, we're not that, we're just who we are, and embracing that and being who we are. So. Um, the questions I would have is, you know, and proposing that is how do we create a space for Chicanos like me, who, you know, because, you know, we're talking a lot about Indiana and Native, and I never grew up on those, you know, relics, and I was, it was a lot of rancheras, and because mm -hmm. my tata's from Mexico, so um, a lot of rancheras, a lot of Norteño stuff, and, and just from the north and Mexico, and bringing all that together to be Chicano, you know? Uh, even as much as my parents were born, you know, in the United States, and uh, my dad's parents were born in the United States, um, from my grandpa's from Las Cruces in Mexico, my grandma's from Arizona, so, like, we're here, we've been here, and uh, like my dad likes to say, the we didn't cross the border, the border crossed us, and it's like, that's, that's where I'm coming from and why I'm here, is to explain there is a different experience in the Chicano that a lot of people don't know because continue to be put into that representational image. Um, so that's why I'm you know, showing that there is another <laughs> there is another side. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Can I ask you a question? Yeah. You said earlier on to you talking talk about the representational image. So what is that image to you? How do you how do you what what are you seeing? Yeah, so I work with a lot of stereotype, I'm a performance artist, so I work with a lot of stereotype, archetype, video work, but also the painting. And so when I when I talk about image, I'm trying to work on the outside of me. So stereotypical images. And how those are continuously being represented in our media and our daily life and how, you know, now on social media things like TikTok and Instagram is people are thinking that's the Chicano mm -hmm. culture when in reality like it could be anything, you know, we're everything. <laughs> like, you know, we keep saying is we're everything, we're from everything. And so when we're being put into that box of this is what a Chicano is, it's kinda like you're kind of negating what we're telling you <laughs> about what we are and who we are. Um, so yeah, so what if so what are the uh, you know, we know, like the. I mean, I don't know, like. No, I'm just curious. No, I'm not trying to. Put, yeah, no, no, whatever. yeah. Just what the is the English? The the the. No, the chola aesthetic. You know. Okay. Yeah. It's the whole chola aesthetic and and that. You know, I have. A, I I went to New York for my undergrad and I went to St. John's University and majority black population, right? And it's like, I really, I really recognized my identity, like, you know, how people perceive me. And that goes into the stereotype. So I was told, oh, um, you're not dark. Like, what? <laughs> like, um, you're not tan. Okay, what does that mean? Or speak Spanish to me. So those types of stereotypes is like, mm -hmm. that's what I've been given on the daily. And I just want to make people understand that I'm a person as well, <laughs> you know? But I also am very proud of my roots. I'm very proud of who I am. But showing, but, but feeding into the stereotype is what has been hindering me from moving forward as a Chicano artist. So that's why I work a lot with stereotype, because not, it's not what you see, you know, it's not what you see. Yeah. What were the six terms that you mentioned? Yeah, it was um, Rona, was one of them, <laughs> respect, remembrance. Resilience, regeneration, and renaissance. Renaissance. <clears throat> the, the, just a quick background on the piece. It, uh, the, the, the tour was a total of 22 miles around the city of LA on bicycle. So uh, because we were before the restrictions were lifted, we could only keep the parade small. But uh, it could easily have swollen up to hundreds of people. So 
we had to keep on moving so we wouldn't like pull a flash crowd because mm -hmm. like everywhere we went, people just would pull over. Sometimes uh, Erica would do like because we had a DJ who's playing a really select, really amazing, like everything from RB to like cumbias to rancheras to like hip hop, and it was just like an incredible array of, uh, of music. So sometimes you would get out and like for example last dance a cumbia on Central Street with a bunch of like day workers who are obviously from Central America, south of, south of Mexico, and they, they were just really just loving the whole energy that this, this parade was producing. And then they ended up giving us beer and like pushing <laughs> us down into the next like thing. So it was just a lot of like sort of snowball effect and you could use that to when we actually went into, for example, to Jazz Park in South Central. This is across the Dunbar Hotel. Uh, and uh, it, it, it's a very important part of, uh, of, of, of the black heritage of South, South what's called now South LA, but we always call it South Central. Mm -hmm. So basically, like, it, it, everybody came out. Uh, when Lily Bernard did her Afro-Cuban dance and also ritual, it also kind of like connected very strongly with, uh, with a lot of the local residents who mm -hmm. came out and they were just really, it, it was very imaginative mm -hmm. in terms of producing like this idea of what was all these things that we're looking for regeneration look like after so much has happened. For example, one of the people that was riding the bicycle for the DJ, like because it was a two bit kind of like buggy, like with two, two wheels and two sets of pedals, he lost six people to Corona. Mm -hmm. So uh, it was in the space of like five months. So they had like a massive thing. So a lot of, uh, like it was quite real. And then also, you, you know, the, the idea was to just recognize that a pandemic has happened mm -hmm. and it has affected everybody. And Erica was at, at the center of the organization of this entire thing. Mm -hmm. And that's why it's kind of important that she told you the, the side of the moment. Mm -hmm. Again? Mm -hmm. Is it? <laughs> well, I, I, I mean, if you're done, I can transition over to explaining more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so just to continue this question is is that I'm here because Raul Baltasar like that uh, um, is the artist who did this performance and uh, I was in town he, he asked me to basically help him organize a lot of the different conceptual aspects of the performance um, you're kind of hearing it here in a raw element, but it's going to basically be a very important artwork for the city of Los Angeles, um, if not for the future, or like the way that you understand our, 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 our works. I mean, what is the difference between his parade and say, the Dada's parades in Zurich around 19, 1922, for example. And so it's a very, it was a very powerful art piece that he spent a lot of time working on. And so, um, he has been mentoring a lot of art students, mainly the ones coming out of modern social practice, mm -hmm. and that's how I was introduced to Erica. Mm -hmm. So then he asked me, I cannot make it this week here to come to this talk. Would you go instead of me, present the project because you're very familiar, and continue the mentorship with, with Erica while you're in San Diego? And, and he's taking advantage that I'm here in town because, uh, I, I, like I said, I, I go back to Copenhagen on the 12th of mm -hmm. April. So, a little bit about me uh, as an artist. Um, I have a, <clears throat> really, a, I never talk about this in public, because I, I never really, I'm a very super private person, so, and then you're recording. So, <laughs> so, but, for example, my, my, uh, uh, my father is, uh, 